Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to talk about the DWMEXE, aka Desktop Window Manager process, a strange process you may see in Task Manager. It may sometimes puzzle users because of high memory or CPU usage. In this video, I will explain what this process is, why the issues may happen, and show the way to troubleshoot this process. Additionally, I will show you the way to see whether it is a malicious program that hides behind the benign name. So, first and foremost, what is DWM-EXE? DWM, or Desktop Window Manager, is a process in the system that belongs to Window Rendering System, called Desktop Windows Manager in the OS from Microsoft. It is categorized as a deeply integrated process because it is responsible for the correct rendering of the effects you can see while using Windows. Smooth animations, transparent frames of each window, and 3D object visualization all these things are used every day and by every user. Besides graphical effects, Desktop Window Manager also takes care of correct support of high-resolution monitors. There are several situations where the DWM process can start consuming quite a lot of RAM and CPU power. Among other things, uh, the most widespread cause for the issue is faulty GPU drivers. As this process works almost exclusively with the GPU, the driver that acts as an instruction for the system on how to do this properly is extremely important. There were several specific situations where a bad Intel integrated GPU driver was leading to high RAM consumption due to the memory leak. As iGPUs lack their own video memory, they rely exclusively on system memory, and any leaks here can at some point even lead to a blue screen of death. For high CPU usage, the case is obviously a bit different. The majority of user reports say about the issue appearing in Windows 10, and the backstory they tell point at the hardware incompatibility with the current Windows version of DWM. Solving it? Well, it is easier, but lacks any alternatives. The only way to resolve high CPU usage by the desktop window manager is to upgrade your hardware by changing CPU or GPU, depending on which component is the oldest and does not meet the system requirements. So, let's switch to troubleshooting. Frankly, I have nothing else to say about the case with absolute hardware. However, for a bad GPU driver, I heavily emphasize you to use only official driver sources. All of the GPU vendors nowadays offer convenient apps for that purpose, so there is no need to use third-party quote-unquote driver updaters, and especially to go to some shady websites that offer free driver downloads, which occasionally contain malware. If updating drivers or hardware is not helpful, well, there is a possibility of malware exploiting the DWM EXE name to disguise itself. It is particularly possible when you see it taking a lot of CPU-GPU power and the criteria of old and incompatible hardware is inapplicable to your system. High hardware power usage along with name hijacking is a common behavior of coin mining malware. To be clear about that, you can do a simple check by opening the file location. In the Task Manager, find DWM EXE or Desktop Window Manager and click it with the right mouse button. In the Context menu, opt for Open File Location. That will throw you to the folder where the file is kept. Normally, the default location for DWM.exe is the Windows Dash System32 folder, obviously the system directory. Any other place you see this process in, unfortunately, means malware activity. To see whether this guess is correct and remove the malware, I'd recommend using Greetings Soft Anti-Malware. A scan will make it clear whether you have something to worry about or not. Full scan will be needed for that case. It may take up to 10 minutes as it checks the entirety of data kept on your disks. This way, you will ensure that the set kind mining malware will not be back after recovering itself from a hidden copy. Now, when the scan is over, just click Clean Out to start the malware removal process. It takes some time as well, in the situations where there are a lot of detections. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.